What? Please don't kick Monica and Rachel out. This wasn't their fault. It was mine. You want me to kick you guys out instead? No, you can't do that. Where would the chick and the duck live? You have pets? No. No, no. No, those are uh, nicknames. Yeah, I'm the chick and Chandler's the duck. Uh, I would have thought it was the other way around. Hey, I got something you can do. What? What? What is it? Can you be my dancing partner? That's not prison lingo, is it? Uh, come on, uh, uh, just, uh, just uh, put your arms around me, eh? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, it's okay. But if I'm Marge, my breasts are coming out my back. Ah, <laughs> uh, forget it. I'm not being any good at this. My mom was right. I'm just a big potato with arms and legs and a head. Come on, Trigger, don't say that. You just, uh, you just need more practice. Here, come on, let's, uh, let's try it again. Hey, Duck, it's Chick here. <laughs> yeah, bunny rabbit. <laughs> wow, couples who live together do start to look alike. <laughs> so, Mondler. Uh, what, uh, what, what you doing? What does it look like? I am cleaning. Did you get Monica's authorization to move all of her stuff? Authorization? I don't need that. I'm going to put everything back. Put it back exactly where you found it? Yes, I'm going to put it back exactly where I found it. You know what I was thinking? What? Nothing. I just like to go like this. <laughs> Hey, Chandler, what are you doing tonight? Uh, why? Do you have a lecture? No, why? Then free as a bird. What's up? Uh, my dad wants to know if you want to play racquetball with us. Wow, that's great. Dad must really like you. He doesn't ask just anyone to play. Yeah, and he didn't really ask for you. He asked for Chauncey. I assumed he meant you. Well, did, did you correct him? No, I, I thought it would be more fun this way. <laughs> I, w I wish you a long and happy marriage. <laughs> Hey. Hey, how Hi. was it? Well, I had a great time. Um, Chauncey, on the other hand, <laughs> I will tell the story. Walk into the steam room, and it's really steamy. <laughs> so I take off my glasses, and that's when it happened. Guys? Over here. Have a seat, son. <laughs> Today when I was at brunch, this woman overheard that I was marrying you, and, and she she wished me good luck. That's sweet. No, well, it was more like a good luck. <laughs> Hold on one second. Let me check for this. Uh, what are you doing? Well, let's see. Okay. Uh, is that her? Oh my God! Yes. Who is she? Julie Graff, my camp girlfriend. <laughs> Did you break up with her? Yeah, we went out for two summers, and then I broke up with her. Why? Well, because she came back the third summer, and she'd gotten really fat. Uh, uh. Fat? I did not say fat. I said fat. Uh, uh, uh. I really think that you should apologize to Julie. Honey, are you kidding? That was like 16 years ago. No, but you know what? It would make me feel better if Louis apologized to me. Okay, I will do it, but I have to warn you, this may make me a better person, and that is not the man you fell in love with. Julie! Hi, Chandler Bing. I, I guess you remember me. Hello, Skidmark. <laughs> it's a nickname I'll explain later. It's pretty clear. Hey, Bob. Hey, Toby. Have a good night. Did that guy just call you Toby? Yeah, he thinks that's my name. Well, why don't you correct him? Oh, it's been going on way too long now. You know, I mean, the first time he said it, we were just passing each other in the hallway, so I didn't say anything. And then the next time he said, hey, Toby, you want a donut? And I, I wanted a donut. 
And now it's five years later, the donut's gone, and I'm still Toby. So we work in different departments. He's on the sixth floor, you know? Somebody calls me Toby once in a while. What's the big deal? Could be worse. It's not like he's calling me Muriel. <laughs> Muriel. <laughs> Why? Why would he call you Muriel? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Chandler M. Bing. <laughs> It's not just an M. Your middle name is Muriel. Shh. Look, it is a family name. Chandler Muriel Bing. Boy, your parents never even gave you a chance, did they? Hey, Joe. Hey. Want to shoot some hoops? Oh, no, I can't go. I'm practicing. I got an audition to be the host of a new game show. Oh, cool. That's great. The audition's in a couple of hours, and I don't even understand the game. Well, do you want some help? Oh, really? That'd be great. Hey, you guys can be the contestants. Awesome. Okay, I guess we can lose to junior high girls some other time. Ugh. All right, let's play bamboozled. <laughs> Ross, you're in the lead. Would you like to take another question or spin the wheel of mayhem? The wheel has not been my friend tonight, Joey. Uh, <laughs> I'll take another question. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Hold your breath. It's okay, I'm ready. No, dude, you gotta hold your breath till you're ready to answer the question. It's part of the this game. It's ridiculous. He's not gonna hold <gasps> his... <laughs> okay. What do you have a fear of if you suffer from this phobia? Tris... Good. Holy cow, that's a big word. Tris... <laughs> Seriously, look at this thing. Chandler, how do you say that? Let me see that. This one right here. Triscodecophobia. <gasps> fear of Triscuits! No! No, fear of the number 13. Oh. All right, Chandler, you're up. Wait a minute, I, I believe I'm entitled to use my angel pass for a free turn? This game makes no sense! <laughs> you know what, you're just upset because you're losing. Oh, come on, Ross. I think we're all losers here. All right. Chandler, you can either spin the wheel or pick a Google card. Let me think, let me think. Oh, uh, I don't care. <laughs> You, you must choose, Mr. Bing. Either, it makes no difference. <laughs> choose, you jackass. I'll take a card. Okay, you pick the gimme card. You get all of Ross's points. What? <laughs> this game is kind of fun.